Hey guys, super quick video update uh, to help make this Saturday really smooth. So every speaker now, the wiring is much simpler than what it was before. Every speaker has to have at least two cables plugged into it, right? You have a power and you have an audio source. So the power cables are all standard and normal, but now every speaker has its own XLR cable that plugs directly from itself into our system here, whether it's in the front or the back. So yellow, which is its own separate thing, has one XLR that feeds out of the yellow side around here and then into the very front of the board here. And you'll see this yellow tag right here and it is output six. And that is labeled yellow out on the board, which you'll be able to see when you actually look at it and you hear. So then the other change here is that seven and eight are just these two short little cables that stay attached in the back. These two cables right here. So they're both the inputs. They feed signal from the 16 channel snake into our box, which now connects everything. So the orange and red subs each have one XLR coming out of them. Um, and they plug directly there, which is labeled red and orange sub. We skip over the middle and we go to orange top and red top. And that's it. You've got your yellow in the front, and then all your oranges and reds come to the back of this box, and they are connected to the front channels by these two guys over there. And again, these two can stay plugged in, and you just unplug them from the front here. Awesome. Hope that is helpful and clear.